You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. Today's guest is Dwayne Carisu, the true epitome of a social entrepreneur. He has ownership in over 12 businesses, but his true passion is helping the community. So then you had real estate under your belt, you had saving, basically saving companies under your belt, mm-hmm. and then what came next? And one day I, I said, I, I think I've <laughs> I had enough and that I'm going to go fishing every day. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. And, and that lasted for three months. And, um, you got bored or just... Well, I found it. I found that I, I, I really had a passion for helping other people and making a difference in other people's lives. And, and that I needed to talk to people. And whether people, I think in general, whether they, they realize it or not, we, we all need certain levels of stress. And I think I was craving stress. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of that's weird. Not catching the fish wasn't stressing enough already. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you can only go golf and fishing so much every day. So, so, so then, you know, what happened was actually friends of mine said, you know, instead of going, just quitting, why don't you just do things gradually because it's kind of like the yin and yang effect. So once you get to a certain point, at, at least when you get busy again, it's going to be a gradual thing. What's, what, and, you know, these guys were all pretty accurate because it went, I, I, I quit, but when I came back, it was, I, I, I was busier than I was ever before because I, I started Hawaii Winter Baseball. What year was that? I started working on it in 1992. So I here I was craving for stress, and then I got more stress than I, than I ever <laughs> thought I would. <laughs> when you took that time off, did you get inspired to come up with this winter baseball idea or come up with new ideas? You, you probably want an inspiring thought, but no. <laughs> 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 I just came back, and I, I went back to helping my partner grow the business, the real estate business, and... Mm-hmm. And in that process, um, the winter baseball idea came about. So wait, so he was working continually this whole period, but then you said, I'm going fishing? Yeah. And he said, <laughs> okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, you're no, a good no, salesperson then. No, huh? no, actually, no, we have a, <laughs> Mike Fergus, he, he's like my brother. Uh-huh. So, and we're, we're like, we're really like yin and yang. So when, when, when we, I'll give you a long answer to that. So when we started, he was... Uh, are extremely conservative person, and I was a s- extremely optimistic person. So when we came to decisions, it was all, it always came in the middle, and it became kind of like a ritual that if I said black, he'd say white. You know, if <laughs> I said white, he'd say black, mm-hmm. and, and we'd end up something in the middle that was always pretty right on. That relationship still continues that way. We're really different kinds of people, but we kind of like feed off each other. Mm-hmm. So when we do something, it, even today, if, if we did a project, we're working on a project right now, we really don't have to tell each other what we're going to do because we already know what we're going to do. I mm-hmm. do my part, he does his part, and it kind of just works out synergistically. So actually, the, the three months that I was gone, he was um, the, the part that I was supposed to have done was already done. I mean, it, I, it, 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 there, it, I, I didn't have to be around for mm-hmm. the company to operate. How old were you when you took that break? Oh, yeah, you're asking some very difficult questions. See, <laughs> I'm 29 now, so <laughs> <laughs> I must have been 12 years old. No, no, no. Well, um, um, I must have been in my 30s, then, early See, 30s. So from the time you guys started, your, your, your age, how old are you? 32. <laughs> Man, I, yeah. <laughs> I would like to go fishing, but I don't really like to fish. Yeah, I, I wasn't that young. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know, if you if you're doing your own firm and you're only doing it for less than a decade, even, and you're at that point where you don't have to work anymore, it's you know, it's a, the challenge then is becoming what really excites you, right? What is it that's going to get you motivated to have that emotional energy to stick with something? Nice. Are, are you speaking from? Well, from experience. <laughs> yeah, for me too. <laughs> I have a. I got to motivate myself in general, but you know. Hey, you, you, uh, just have your wife do all the work. Well, that's that's kind of how it is, right? Okay, that's so, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.